Good Thursday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A beautiful start to Thursday morning. No problems at all being seen across the area where it comes to weather for now, but we do have, again, those changes taking place as we go into the course of the next couple of days, including that potential of maybe some stronger weather into the Mid-South as we go into Friday afternoon. For today, you won't need the umbrella. We're not even going to need anything the way of windshield wiper. Maybe a little dusty out there today with the topsoil being churned around by some southerly breezes, which is kind of typical for this time of the year. But as we go into the next couple of days, moisture builds up, more clouds, and the possibility of getting into, again, some stronger weather, especially as we go into Friday. The forecast for severe weather has really changed in the last 24 hours from the Storm Prediction Center. We'll bring you that information coming up here in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more on that. We'll also take a look at your weekend forecast, which some good news, some not so good news there are coming up. Make sure you drop your locations. Uh, city, state will do nicely. Don't need your home address, but thank you very much for offering. Uh, also, again, let us know what the temperature is doing in your location. You've got that thermometer outside the kitchen window. Let's see what's going on. If you've got pictures, we'll show you where to send them to. We'd love to see them so we can feature them on our netcast like this. We're on several social media channels. And don't forget, you can check out the forecast at the blue bar in the bottom of the screen. Also, again, the seven-day forecast down here all of which available at this website, wreg.com slash weather. Welcome to everybody who's checking in for this morning. If you're here for the first time, thanks for dropping on by. Good news for those of you who have been waiting for these numbers. The countdown until springtime, five hours, three, five days, three hours, 23 minutes, so just less than a week to go until we hit the official start of springtime, which is next Tuesday. We'll talk about what the weather's going to be looking like for there. A little bit on the cool side as we start off Tuesday, so more on that. Good morning to everybody who's checking in from across the area. Thanks for joining us. Arlington, 44 degrees. Sue Davis, thank you very much for that weather report there. Here's what it looks like in a nutshell for the rest of the day today. Temperatures, again, a little bit on the chilly side out there for this morning. We'll take a look at WeatherNet 3 in just a little while. You can also access the WeatherNet information, again, at wreg.com slash weather. Just look up in the top menu bar right there. Mid to upper 40s by the time we're done with News Channel 3 live at 9. 60s by lunchtime, upper 60s by later on this afternoon and into this evening. Quite pleasant across much of the area again for the day today. Clouds are going to be starting to increase as we go into later on tonight. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Walls, Mississippi, clear, sunny 43. Jeffrey Griffiths, thank you very much uh, for that weather report for this morning. And thanks to everybody else for checking in from across the Mid-South area. Again, if you're just joining us, please remember to drop your uh, city, state, and weather information into the, the uh, comment section. And we'll read off those weather reports there. Senatobia 43, Annie Carter, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you very much there. Back into Clarksdale, Mississippi at Heidelberg Elementary. Looks like spring break in full swing. Also a decent amount of blue skies and some greening of the trees starting to show up in and around the Clarksdale area this morning. The view from Germantown looking back toward the towers around Poplar and Mendenhall. Poplar Pike traffic looks like a train going through right now. And traffic on Germantown Parkway looks to be relatively clear for the time being. 45 degrees in and around Germantown. Humidity's up a little bit, 60%, not quite as dry as yesterday, and those winds a little breezy, so we do have a little bit of a wind chill out across much of the area for right now. And again, across much of the area, plenty of sunshine means great visibility, good weather for travelers out there. Traffic, again, decently heavy at I-55 and Goodman Road in South Haven, looking off toward the Horn Lake area, off toward the southwest, so things decently quiet right now, and no problems at all. Hardly any clouds to speak of around the horizon. And it's pretty normal. Rhodes College in Memphis, sunshine and blue skies looking back toward the northwest on the weather underground system. And our brand new live camera from Farm Road and around Walnut Grove looking back toward the towers from the Shelby Farms Park area. Beautiful day to get out for a bike ride, stroll or jog or even a horse ride out around Shelby Farms if you want to go out there for that today. Storm Tracker 3S radar, nothing to show you for this morning. Again, complete and total clean sweep across the entire area. Now back to the west of us, a couple of interesting things starting to shape up. Not just one, but two storm systems. And for us, the first one, a little bit more energetic as it moves its way off the Rockies, could be giving us the, put the potential for some stronger weather into around Friday afternoon. Beyond that, another storm system just off the West Coast 
these moving across the country over the next couple of days relatively in short succession could lead to a fourth nor'easter for the east coast states. Now granted that's not going to be affecting us anytime soon, but this area of the country is again very well plowed over with a lot of snow and it looks like it's going to have yet another one, maybe two of these storms coming on through. So I would say anything north of the Chesapeake Bay area all the way up to New England. If you're traveling that way anytime soon, check your destination because we could be looking at even more snow heading into that area coming up a little bit later on. Temperatures across the Mid-South near your location, hopefully back in the mid to upper 40s across much of the Mid-South. Numbers rising with that sunshine out into and around the area. Raymond Bradford Jr. will be raining Friday morning between 8 and 11.30. Track practice with the team. Uh, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for that at this point in time. Holly Underwood, good day to take the kids to the zoo. That sounds fun. I haven't taken my kids to the zoo for about 10 years, and they're in college now, so enjoy it while you can. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on, running the numbers into the rest of the day. The moving lines on screen showing the winds coming up out of the southwest and moving to the northeast. Temperatures rising nicely by lunchtime and afterwards in the lower to mid-60s. By dinner time, rush hour tonight, temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s and seeing some very pleasant conditions. Not seeing any gray out here. There's nothing showing up in the way of cloud cover. Now, a few clouds today, yeah, that's a good possibility, but major cloud cover doesn't look to be a bit of a problem. Now, going from late this afternoon through this evening, cooling off a little bit, upper 50s by the time Tim Simpson is on with News Channel 3 at 10. Now, tomorrow morning, this is when the rain starts to arrive. So as we look across much of the area, uh, for today, Raymond Bradford Jr., rain starts to move into the area. I think the leading edge of the rainfall is going to have some trouble making its way from thousands of feet up all the way down to the ground because of the fact that the air ahead of this storm system is very dry. So the leading edge, not going to be seeing a lot of rainfall out of this immediately, but as the moisture builds up and more rainfall moves in, allowing that rainfall to get a lot more numerous and a lot thicker, that's where we see the best chances of rainfall coming on through the area for right now. Uh, C.R. Suddeth, hope I'm saying that right, Pollen's high, pollen highs today. Uh, don't have that information directly here, but you can pick that up on our weather page. I believe the graphic is still there, if I'm not mistaken, uh, wreg.com slash weather. And there are also other links to pollen measuring places around the Mid-South. At least last I checked, it's been a while, but thank you for uh, suggesting that. I'll see if we can bring that back here on weather overtime to keep you updated on stuff like that going on. Logan Ward, good morning. Sam Dunnigan, Sardis, Mississippi, welcome to the show. Uh, again, welcome to everybody else. 35 degrees, a little chilly in Corinth, Mississippi. Ra Rachel Smith, hope I'm saying that right. Lula Coleman, good morning to you. And Jasmine Torres from Nesbitt, Mississippi, welcome to the show on there. Now, for the rest of Friday, again, this is the leading edge of anything we have in the way of showers. More chances of thunderstorms as we go toward afternoon and evening. And that is where we're going to be seeing, again, the potential problems starting tomorrow. Now, the threat for anything in the way of thunderstorms, brand new forecast from the Storm Prediction Center for today. This is just indicating the possibility of generic thunderstorms. There is no severe weather expected for today. But notice that the Mid-South area is now included in this. So late tonight, early tomorrow morning, there could be that potential of some thunderstorms taking place, but just thunderstorms expected for right now. This forecast has also changed by a great deal. Over the last day or so, the Storm Prediction Center has really ramped up the potential for severe weather, which now, for a slight risk category, this yellow area is a slight risk. It's the highest risk on the map, and this means this is going to be the main target zone for the possibility of severe weather. From the Mid-South area down through the Arkansas River into around the Red River area, that's where we're looking at the potential for, again, what looks to be damaging winds primarily. Another threat of isolated large hail and unfortunately cannot rule out the possibility of isolated tornadoes at this time, especially at this time of the year. That's one of the things we really have to watch out for. Now in the green shaded area, that is the lowest possibility of severe weather. That's a marginal threat for say Dyersburg back to around Tishomingo County in northeast Mississippi. 
if you're in this area, this again is a lesser threat, but here's the important thing, it's still a threat, it's still a potential for severe weather. So basically all of the News Channel 3 viewing area has that potential for anything involving severe weather tomorrow, but mainly the metro area, southwest Tennessee, east Arkansas, northern Mississippi, that's where we're going to see that main zone for the possibility of severe weather. Could this forecast change in the next 24 hours? Absolutely, you betcha, and as of right now, We'll, again, see the possibility of that changing, but we don't know it's going to change until the Storm Prediction Center tells us. So we'll be monitoring this. You keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on that. Rest of the day today, beautiful. Temperatures pushing 70 degrees. A little bit on the breezy side, but not bad. And then into tonight, that's when the clouds start to arrive first, showers through mid-morning, and then the thunderstorms, I think, will kick up as we go into afternoon and evening. That's going to be the main possibility of getting some thunderstorms in here. Some of those could linger into early on St. Patrick's Day morning. Now, so far, a little bit uh, better news for the weekend. Not much, but a little bit. The showers and thunderstorms, again, should linger through about early in the morning on Saturday. Could be some leftover showers by about mid-morning or so, but most of the rest of the weekend, according to the new updated forecast information, shows things clearing out by just a bit. Not totally. Rain should be gone, and then the cloudy skies will stick around in some form or fashion. Now, getting into Sunday, we stay clear for most of the day where it comes to rainfall, and then Sunday night, that's when the chances of showers and thunderstorms return to the area and stick around right on into Monday. Monday marks the last day of winter, the last full day of winter, and temperatures definitely not feeling winterish, back to around 70 degrees. Getting into the rest of the forecast, Toward the first day of spring, which happens at about the changeover around 10:15 on Tuesday morning, it's going to be a lot cooler out there with temperatures again back into around the mid to upper 50s only, and that's going to be a little bit on the cooler side, especially at the bus stop as people head back to work or school. Again, a little bit cooler out there. Numbers by Wednesday morning back in the lower 40s or so. Now, afterwards, for the rest of the first week of spring, we start to warm back up again. We catch a bit of a break on Thursday and then for the weekend more chances of showers and thunderstorms taking place at least a little bit closer to normal on temperatures but then we see again that chance of showers and thunderstorms sticking around for most of the area so if you have any plans for outdoors over the course of the next couple of days that is where we are going to see again that potential for more areas of rainfall and unfortunately, again, that could aggravate the flooding situation across parts of the Mid-South. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 because I've got a lot of that going on around here. Uh, Niti Kumvakar, hope I'm saying that relatively correctly. Nice sun pillar and a nice sunset from around the Liberty Science Center traveling around New Jersey. Thank you very much for that one. And a little bit closer to home, James R. Gulledge from around Humboldt, Tennessee. Trees in full bloom, end of a pleasant day here in Humboldt, low of 28, high of 50. So thank you very much, Mr. Gulledge, frequent contributor on here, as you can be. If you would like to drop your pictures off, we'd love to show them. The Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Aonic no underscore necessary, WREG3 on Instagram. And, of course, you can catch me on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash AustinOnic, WREG, just one complete word there, and we'll keep you updated on what's going on across the Mid-South when it comes to those areas of forecast changes out there, so keep it tuned for more on that, and of course for the potential of that severe weather into the course of the rest of the next couple of days. So stick around for more details. We'll keep you updated on all of that coming up a little bit later. Coming up a little bit later this morning at about 10.30 or so, join me on my Facebook page and we'll have more details about the weather forecast updated for the late morning hours and into the rest of the afternoon. We'll also take a look at weather where the troops are. If you have friends, loved ones, family members stationed around the world, we'll have some updates as to what the weather's like around the world at various military outposts. And again, that's our little nice kind of salute to everybody out there wearing the uniform. And if you are one of those people out there in the military, again, thank you very much for serving your country and wearing that uniform out there. We'll also take a detailed look at 
add more pictures if you send them in, so stick around for more on that. And if anything changes on the severe weather forecast, we'll have more on that. And again, that'll be about 10.30 this morning on Periscope, Twitter, and my Facebook page, again, about 10.30 or so. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks to everybody for joining us for our quick weather update for weather overtime for Thursday morning. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of Thursday morning.